under St. Mark's you walk in and you're like, yeah, this is a theater. You know, it's not, um, oh yes, I'm going to the theater. You know, it's not just another theater. It's, you know, where you, you go in, you sit down, you watch a show and you leave. You've got this subterranean theatrical space in which a lot of times when we do shows, we'll have people out there on the street pulling people into the shows. They, don't, they weren't planning on seeing the theater. They didn't know what, you know, we grab them. We pull them into this subterranean space and give them a show for an hour and then send them back on their way. Just the atmosphere, the intimacy, um, the... I think the brick wall is my favorite part. Um, just, <laughs> I think it's just, uh, it's raw. The first row of the audience is literally on the stage. So they talk about the fourth wall between, you know, performer and audience. At Under St. Mark's, it's, it's non-existent. We've built a, a rabid audience um, because Horse Trade has been kind enough to give us a home. And, this kind of, in a very warm and cozy and, and uh, welcoming environment. The way you feel when you go into the space, it's so warm, it's such an intimate environment. Um, you go there and so many amazing collaborations are born uh, in that space. I've seen, I've seen bands form in the backyard of Under St. Mark's. I mean, literally, it's like, you are, you're a great sax player. Yeah, you're a great guitar player. Let's form a band. Okay. And it's a band, you know, to this day. Um, it's a place where magic happens. <laughs> That's really the best, uh, best description I could come up with. There's something in the air or the walls or the clanky pipes in that space that makes every performance better than it would be in any other room. It doesn't work anywhere else. This open mic is the, is the way it is because of the way the space is set up and the way the horse trade runs it. And it's just, I've tried, I've, I've done the open mic numerous other places and it just it didn't work anywhere else. If we don't hold on to and cherish uh, these small, dirty, independent performance spaces, uh, we will uh, ultimately lose uh, the creative engine of uh, theater in this city.